What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today we are back with kind of the end of shapeshifters in all honesty. I think this is pretty much going to be the last day that we're grinding Team 1. I've seen tomorrow's video, Team 2 will be out so hopefully we'll get something fun there. Uh, we've got play picks, we've got, well, even more play picks to do actually. We've got all of the good SPCs to get done, so hopefully we'll get something good today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rate and comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as I say, we've got plenty of picks to do. I've um, been busy this morning. I've gone through and completed the rest of Gerhardt, um, which is great. It meant that we got the rival gameplay done, so obviously we've got our rival wards to open. So we'll go ahead and claim them. I think it's 255Ks and 245Ks, which is decent. Plus a good card, one that we're probably never going to be able to get into a team just because he's not good enough. Um, we've got Schmelzer, who literally is just a better card than him for both the German and the Bundesliga team. So we don't really need him. Um, we've also gone ahead and completed Pepe. Um, he is all done. Probably did that in the space of an hour, um, which was nice and easy. Again, fun looking card. Still doesn't make the Premier League team. Would make an Ivorian team. Um, we've got quite a few cards to link him to with Zaha. We've got Fafana. We've got Kessie. So there's a bit of fun that we could have if we needed to get some links. But again, I still don't think that we're going to end up using them at any point. And then we've also gone through and done the Ultimate Cup. Um, I've gone ahead and got the Team of the Season pack. So we've got two more wins to do. We've got three more games left. Ideally, it would be nice to win the next two games to then go and get 245Ks and 50K. But if we don't, it is what it is. I'm not really too bothered. And then Season Progress, we've got a badge. Great. Well, you know, just what we really need. Uh, the middle of June, a badge. Um, thankfully, there is only 96 days till FIFA 23 is out. So, again, there's still quite a lot that will come out. I think there's a brand new promo coming after the Shapeshifters, which we'll have to see what it is. Um, hopefully, it's going to be good, but we will see. To start things off today, we're going to get Benzema. Uh, we've got a few of the 81 plus player picks. Basically, with any of these duplicates, we're going to go and do the, I think it's the 93 plus Team of the Season or Shapeshifters pack. So the more duplicates we get, the better, in all honesty. Um, we've also got the 85 plus pick to do as well. May as well send that. Obviously, we should get a duplicate in there, so hopefully it'll be something good. And in terms of the pick, we are going to reveal it because there is a distinct possibility. Do you know what we was? We're not. There's a distinct possibility that we could get shapeshifters in this. Chances are we're not going to. Uh, kind of point proven. Um, in terms of who we're going to take... I mean, it really doesn't matter. We'll just take Verratti because it's fine. But with the Serbi and with Benzema, it does mean that we have duplicates to deal with. So we can go ahead and submit the 88 rated team um, for the 93 plus team of the season pick. Right then, so instead of that, um, slight change of plan. We're going to do the 86 rated team. I pre-built the 88 rated team. So anything 84 and above, we can put into that SPC. But... For the 86, obviously Benzema and Acerbi need to go in. The rest of these are just gold cards that we're using to get chemistry. Insigne, we don't need him because we've got a Desenge of Era card. So, again, may as well get rid of this. We get a rare mix player pack back, which is decent. Um, I have pretty much gone ahead and basically built a squad of anything that we've got high rated that we can get rid of. I put it into that team just to get an idea of like what plays we can get rid of and use and stuff like that. So, realistically, once we get one more duplicate, we'll be able to go and do the 93 plus pick. And then once we've done that, any duplicates we will then either put into... Ooh, Icon! Go on! Japanese Cam. Is it going to be Prime Moments? No, it's just going to be Prime Nakata. Do you know what? We'll take that. Again, not ideal, but from the SBC, it's going to be tradable. Do we keep hold of him? Probably yes, because why not? I mean, he is 70-odd K. He's probably discard price, isn't he? I mean, he's a little bit more than discard. Nakata, not too bad. Not the best icon, could have been a lot better, but we will take it. Um, I have seen a lot worse in terms of icons packed. Actually, have I? No, he is the worst icon you can pack, so of course I haven't seen worse than him. But we'll take that um, from doing that SPC. is not too bad. As I was saying, um, any duplicates, we will go ahead and open... What are we going to do? While we open these packs, go and claim our division rivals, and then any duplicates can go into the year in review picks. Um, again, hopefully we can get some good stuff there. Now, obviously, with duplicates, um, we are at a distinct possibility of... We, we kind of have quite a lot in the club here, um, which is an issue. And as much as there's upgrade SBCs to do, I'm not really too bothered by doing a lot of them, in all honesty. Um, I think we might be able to get rid of both of these. No, nope, we still can't get rid of them. Um, so we will try and use them in the next SBC, I would guess. 
But apart from that, I think we're kind of a bit full to the club in terms of what we can use and stuff. So, again, we're kind of at a point of tradable cards, even though they're going to be tradable, they're still going to be duplicates, which isn't ideal. But we've got an 88 rated team to go. Um, we will go open our division rival rewards. As I say, we're still in Division 4. Probably by next week, we'll end up in Division 3, um, back to sort of normal. And then we've got two rare megas, two 45Ks, which is great. Started doing weekend league qualification. We've won one, lost two, I think. So, again, no real shock there. I stopped playing them and then didn't really want to play any more gameplay. So, again, is what it is. Um, I think it's at that point of the game where if I don't have to play gameplay, I'm not going to bother because it's not that enjoyable. I'll be honest, um, it's quite a chore to have to play gameplay right now. So, ideally, I don't want to do it. And um, We are going to go and pack a Serbi again, which is going to mean that he's a duplicate. So, in terms of what we can do, if we've got a few duplicates here, I'll go and build like one of the player picks just to obviously go and get that sorted. I mean, to be honest, even though all these three are tradable, we're still going to have to deal with them. So I'll go build a player pick and then let's go chuck a Serbi into the final 88 rated team. And there we are. This is the team we're going to get rid of. And um, we've got Pogba and Quadrado in our duplicate discards. So obviously I'll go and claim them back at some point, which is fine. Walker, we're going to finally get rid of. He's played quite a lot of games for us. Um, yeah, 671 games. He's been fantastic. Obviously, we've got Trent now. We've also got Liveramento, so we don't need him. Plus, Trent's going into this. Obviously, we've got his team of the season, so we don't need his player of the month. Again, he played a few games. Yeah, 536, which says a lot when you've got two fullbacks who are very similar in terms of links, and yet you've played over a 1,000 games with them. Shows how much we played FIFA this um, year. Obviously, Quadrado, we haven't used this card, but everything else we can go ahead and get rid of. So, a rare Electrum pack. Again, not too bad. Hopefully, it's going to be good. But more importantly, we've got the player pick. A 93 plus team of the season or shapeshifters. Now, I did tweet out one yesterday. Um, it was fake. And so in the pick was, I think it was Son, Vinicius Jr., Jude Bellingham and Alfonso Davies. So it was a bit of fun. Um, only one person actually pointed out that it was fake, which was quite good. Um, but again, it was just to see what people would take. If you saw it, do apologize. But obviously it wasn't actually real. So the real one that we are going to do, hopefully... We do get another shapeshifters. Um, I think most people are ending up getting team of the seasons from these. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of team of the seasons in our club already. So there's probably going to be one or two duplicates. If we do get one, then it does make it a little bit easier to go ahead and do the year in review pick. But we'll probably take whatever's best. Um, in terms of duplicates, we have two. So we'll go to the left-hand side first. In terms of what it is, it's team of the season. It is going to be... Ooh, Vert, that's not bad to get as a duplicate. Again, not the best team of the season available, but it is still a good one. The second card is going to be a team of the season as well. In terms of who we got, as in the third pick, it's Allison. Do you know what? Again, not a bad little card to pick up. If we didn't have him, again, would be ideal. But we know that the middle one, well, the second one is a team of the season. It is a question of what is going to be in the fourth one are we going to get a shapeshifters or is it going to be the team of the season it's a team of the season so we haven't got any shapeshifters which is a little bit frustrating but in terms of the team of the seasons it is going to be 78 physical which i mean really good stamina so hopefully going to be some sort of forward 50 defending 93 dribbling 92 passing 92 shooting 98 pace it has to be some sort of winger i would guess in terms of who it's going to be I have no idea. It's going to be Visca. Not ideal, um, I'll be honest. He isn't really that good. So in terms of the final pick, the other one that we haven't got, who is it going to be? Oh, no, that was Visca. Okay, so we know that he's Visca. We know that he's Allison. It is just going to be this middle one. Who is it going to be? I don't know. Um, it's going to be a goalkeeper. I'm going to say someone like Courtois. Manuel Neuer. I mean, not ideal, um, I'll be honest. Kind of nothing really too usable there. In terms of who we're going to take, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think what we'll do is we will take Manuel Neuer because he's not a duplicate. However, he's going to be fodder. There's no point putting him into the, I think it's an 85 rated team or an 86 rated team. So, again, not the best. I've seen a lot better. I've also seen a lot worse. So, we can't really complain too much. But we have got the year in review player picks to do. As I say, it's an 86 rated team. I definitely do want to get one of these done. So what I'll probably do is we'll go and pre-build one. 
and then as soon as we get a duplicate we'll go chuck it in okay so as soon as we get a duplicate and um, this is the team we'll end up getting rid of but again as i say we'll wait till we get a duplicate in terms of who we can get out of this obviously there is a distinct possibility of getting player of the month mbappe player of the month ronaldo and um, there's quite a few so hopefully fingers crossed we can get something good we will have to see rare electron pack from the um, 93 plus pick not doing too much so again, not ideal, but two duplicates, I am just going to discard them because I can't be bothered dealing with them. I think the other year in review pick we will do in tomorrow's video, um, just because why not. So we'll do two, no, three more packs, and then we'll do a team season pack. Now, chances are, team season pack either isn't going to be good or probably going to give us a duplicate, um, which again is absolutely fine. Martinez, we've used in SBC today, so again, don't have to worry about him. But we do get a few duplicates at the end. Again, these could be going into player picks, so they could go into 75 times 5 packs. I just, I don't really care, in all honesty. Um, in terms of the gold commons, I think we might be able to get rid of a few of them because I might have used them, although I'm not 100% sure we might have used Paulson. I think we have, so that's all right. And then here, I don't think we've used any of them. I think we might have used Boateng, though. So, again, if we can get rid of a few duplicates, I'd rather keep hold of the rares than the commons just because they sell for a little bit more most of the time. Um, and again... We'll keep going. So we'll do this 45k pack, then we'll do the team season pack, and then if we haven't got a duplicate, we'll just go and do the play pick to finish things off. So this is where we're going to sort of leave the video for today. Um, there isn't going to be any 6pm content because I will be out, um, but I will make sure that we'll have some content ready to go for tomorrow's video. Have a few of the play picks done, ready to go for team 2, and um, just to see what we get there. Apart from that, there's really not too much else to do. Um, obviously, we can start the grind for weekend league, but again, I'm not like, if we don't play this weekend, I'm not too concerned. There's enough content going on. There's enough packs to do. There's enough gameplay to get done. So maybe we do leave one weekend out for once just to obviously get other things focused on. Right now, in terms of gameplay time, I'm trying not to play as much. I don't have the time to play it as much anymore. So, again, we'll have to see. But team season pack, again, chances are probably nothing good from the Ultimate Cup. It is going to be Belgium, Striker. It's one that we've already got. We already have the Kettler. Dis the Kettler? Dis Kettler. I don't even know how you pronounce his name, but we already have him because we've already gone him out of one of the guaranteed packs. So that does mean that we need an SBC to do. That does mean that we are going to go and do the year in review pick, and I'll be right back. And there we are. A few changes. Um, it means that we can take out Dybala and Delict, which again means we can save them for another SBC. A few of the 83s going in instead. So hopefully. It is going to be something good. Um, fingers crossed it is going to be a usable card that we can get. Obviously, in terms of who's available, I think there's quite a few players to get. Obviously, you can't get Ericsson anymore, but that's absolutely fine. Bonucci can go. We've got Kaylee. You need to replace him, which is absolutely fine. And yeah, to sort of to really finish things off, I would say, um, all that we want is, do you know who would be ideal? The um, Rodrigo SBC for showdown card. Now, not ideal because obviously... He got the upgrade because Liverpool lost, but we will see. It is going to be what it's going to be. We'll send the striker into the club, and we're just going to open it. I reckon we'll probably have one duplicate at least here, one in the middle. So in terms of who it is, it's a team of the season. It is Modest. I'm a bothered, not really. If it means that we've got to take him because he's a high rate or something, that's fine. If not, hopefully one of these will be usable. Now, obviously, I do do most SBCs, so... Most of the time, it's going to be something that we've got before. Um, in terms of who it is, 85 physical with really, well, the stamina's not too bad. 87 defending, 84 dribbling, 84 passing, 78 shooting, 83 pace. It is going to be a foot birthday. I think this is Caligari. No, it can't be. It's going to be Coquelin, which is really poor, I'll be honest. Um, really not a good SBC card to get because it's a foot birthday and it's completely unusable. In terms of the second one, it's going to give us 76 physical with really nice stamina, 47 dribbling, not 47 dribbling, 47 defending. If it was dribbling, then that would be even worse. It's going to be 93 dribbling, 88 passing, 89 shooting, 94 pace. It has to be some sort of forward of some sort. It's a foot birthday card again. It's going to be a Yarzabal. Now, I'll be honest, none of them really help us. And so because of that, we are going to take Modest. We are going to go and put him into the other one. And let's just go and open it. Right then, so to really finish things off, um, we are going to do the second one. Hopefully this one will be better. Obviously Modest going in and then loads of gold rares from the Bundesliga. A few cards that have gotten to transfer list like Sommer and Hernandez. 
just may as well use them up. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one is going to be better than the last one. Chances are, probably isn't going to be. Um, but again, there's a distinct possibility that we could get something good. We will have to see. As long as it's not a duplicate that is our best player, I think we're going to be all right. In terms of who we've got already, we don't own any of them. Which does fill me with a little bit of hope that it could be like a player of the month Mbappe. In terms of the first card, it is going to be 90 physical, 91 defending, 86 dribbling, 90 passing, 80 shooting, and 87 pace. My guess would be maybe like a foot birthday. No, it's a showdown plus. Okay, maybe who's it? Zinchenko possibly. Oh, okay, Brozovic. That's, again, not a bad card. It's just at this point in the game cycle, he doesn't go into any teams. Um, just because the Serie A team is a hell of a lot better. In terms of our second one, 85 physical, 44 defending, but 99 header and accuracy. Okay. 94 dribbling, 88 passing, 92 shooting, 84 pace. Is this Benzema? Okay, we'll take Benzema. If this is the best card, then we will take it because, in all honesty, it's not that bad. He would go into the French team. He would go into the La Liga team um, just because we kind of already are using his flashback. I was going to do this. Didn't do the 86 rated team. In a sense, we've basically just gone and done the 86 rated team now. However, the final one is going to give us... Ooh, the jumping is very poor on that. 84 physical, 83 defending, 92 dribbling, 94 passing, 88 shooting, and 92 pace. In terms of the card, it is... A showdown plus, I mean, again, I'll be 100% honest, I can't really think of anything. It's probably going to be some sort of midfielder. It's going to be Canales, which the fact that we've already got his team of the season card means that we don't need him. And so to finish off, we're going to take Benzema. Again, a bit of an upgrade on the Modest card that we just put in. He is going to go into a team. It will mean that his 86 rated card is going to become fodder for us, but... In terms of what we've got left to complete, I'm going to do Anderson just to make sure he gets completed and finished off. Um, apart from that, I don't really think there's too much else for us to grind, um, which isn't too bad, considering we've been able to get most of this done. But to finish off today's video, we're just going to see if we get shapeshifters. 100k pack. Is it going to be good? Is it going to give us anything worthwhile for our time? It is going to be just boards. Great. I mean, it's going to be an 85 rated, but even still, not ideal. Anything in behind? of any value, a few 84s, a few 83s, and quite a lot of duplicates. So that is where we're going to leave it for today, guys. I'm out. Peace.